My name's Father Lamb. I might look like your average person, but really, I'm somebody totally different. Don't let the suit fool you. I am way more than meets the eye, baby. For I am Toilet Man. You never saw that coming, did you? Freeze! Gotcha, sugar bombs. Let's go stop some crime. As I was doing my daily routine, pumping iron, trying to get ready for the next battle life brings my way. All of a sudden I remembered, there's somewhere I have to be. It's gonna be a long walk to town, baby. But I'm ready. Ready for anything. As you can clearly see, Toilet Man's been through here before. You think these bodies just happen to appear here on their own? No, baby. Toilet Man did all of this. But who is Toilet Man again? That's right, the world will never know. I can walk through here in this suit every day, no matter the hour. They'll never know it's me. I decided to walk on into the Concord Speakeasy. It's typically a place I like to stop by. Say hello to my great friends. This is James. James has always been stuck in this position for quite a while. He never moves, but he sure does love his cigars and he loves his wife. That's Jane. James and Jane. Two peas in a pod. Two skeletons on a couch. They're inseparable. And this guy, he drank too much. He's always stuck in this position. He's always got a beer by his side. I don't feel bad for him though. I don't. I see you guys later. As I walk up to the counter, something didn't seem right. It's way too quiet around here. Hello? Nobody's here. Normally they give me a free bowl of rice. They walk up to the counter, ask me how my day's been. We talk about our daily routines and just general going about and what we do and what not throughout the morning. But something's not right. As I walk around the counter, I stop. I take a look to my right. That can't be. David? David wasn't serving me my daily bowl of rice. He's normally the one that comes to the counter to talk to me and see how things are going. Somehow, David's now a skeleton. What happened to David? We're gonna avenge his death. I bet it's those raider punks. When they meet Toilet Man. Ha 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 ha. As I'm preparing to leave the Concord he's speakeasy. I say goodbye to James and Jane. Goodbye. Rises. It's time to go find who killed my buddy David. James and Jane were no help. They wouldn't tell me nothing. They just sit there. Unresponsive. Like they're dead or something. As I was walking away, leaving the city trying to find David's killer, I stumbled upon a nice little diner and heard some arguments. Oddly enough, two gentlemen were out front. Looks like they're trying to intimidate. I figured I would intervene. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scammer. This doesn't yeah? You. Lower you your gun. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Uh-oh. This looks like a chance for Toilet Man. Everybody stay still. I said stay still. Toilet Man's gonna save the day. Don't you worry. That diner's gonna be safe. Don't you worry. I've got your back. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. All right, Trudy. You guys okay in here? How you doing? Hey. Oh, I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. All right, thank you, Trudy. I'll be here for you. Don't you worry. And you, get some help, kid. Toilet man saves the day again. I better get in the bushes. Can't let them see me. As I exited the bush, I decided to act as my regular self just to go in and ask questions. 
Can't let them know Toilet Man's looking for somebody specific. They might give the details to someone else. They don't have a bounty on my back. Hey, Trudy. How's it going? Been looking for someone that might have ran by the Concord to speak easy. My buddy David over there is kind of croaked over. A stiff skeleton, if you will. Got any details? Not gonna speak? Fine. Have it your way. I decided to leave the diner as they left me just wandering, waiting. No words, nothing spoken. I guess they don't want to speak to somebody as classy as me. Upon leaving the diner, after getting no words, no information, I stumbled upon an old theater, thinking this might be a good spot to start a new camp. I might need a new settlement here. Could be just for me, or I could share it, create something new. Something for everybody to thrive on, a community if you will. I decided to take a look. As I stepped in, I was surrounded by mole rats everywhere. Time for Toilet Man. You guys are no match for Toilet Man. That's right, bring it on. Bring it on, you ugly mole rats. Let's go. Let's rock. That's right, four shots left, who's next? Who is next for Toilet Man? Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on, mole rat. Think I'm gonna fall for this, whoever set this bottle cap of mine? Yeah, don't think so. Toilet Man's not that stupid. Looks like the area's secure, getting a little scared. I'm good. Who's shooting at Toilet Man? They're not shooting at me. The thing is, I don't know if they're friendly. I believe they're okay. All right. I'll save you. You okay, young man? Hey there. You look like someone who needs to talk. That's right. I don't know, really. I don't think I need another dog. You take care. So, and just like that. Despite the fact I still haven't found my buddy's killer, I scored a bitchin' movie theater as a new settlement. Took out the mole rats. Helped a man. And helped myself to victory as Toilet Man. <laughs>